Hello, I'm Ken Bremner and I'm Chief Executive at South Tyneside and Sunderland NHS Foundation Trust. We've tried really hard as an organisation to foster culture that's inclusive and not just diverse. And why do I think that's important? Well, because I think if our staff feel engaged and included, if they have a sense of purpose and value, then quite frankly, they're going to perform better. We aim throughout our organisation to try and create collaborative teams that both innovate and improve, but crucially, they do that through inclusion. Over this last year or so in, in the organisation, we've created a number of staff networks. We try to listen and learn from staff at all levels in the organisation. We've adopted the rainbow badges and we've now got over 2,000 of them in the organisation, including myself and the whole board. And those are individual pledges about inclusion. And of course, we work with our partner organisations around us to try and support our patients and our local communities. To find out more, then please go to sdsft.inclusion at nhs.net. Hi, I'm Nikki Ramanandi. I'm the Regional Convener for Unison Northern. October is Black History Month. It's a month where we come together to celebrate the contribution that Black people have made to society and continue to do so. It's also a month, however, where we remember our struggle. And 2020 has been a year that shows what it's like to be Black in society today. Whether that be the brutal murder of George Floyd, or the disproportionate impact that COVID has had on black people. It shows the real difficulty of being a black person in society today. I am the first regional black convener in Northern Unison, and I am really proud of that fact. I am proud of my heritage, and I am proud to class myself as black. This month will highlight the good work that black people do in society. I hope you enjoy the events that we hold and that the month is a success. Thank you. Black History Month means so much to me as somebody born in England who's lived most of his adult life in, in England, whose kids were born in England. It's a moment that we as black Britons can reflect on the role that we've played in Britain's history, a role that sometimes is devalued and sidelined. Whether it's that role was in England as part of the Windrush generation or in one of England's own holdings in, 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 a, in a colonial past. Black History Month for me is a celebration. It shows the, the impact that the black people have had um, through the centuries, through the years in this country and every country in the world. There's a lot of negativity with black history. People seem to look at the negatives, but I think there's so much positivity in that. You know, when you look back on the amount of black people who've created things, who've made things, who've been brilliant speakers, who've affected governments, um, I think is a wonderful thing. And maybe aren't, they aren't highlighted enough in the classroom on a day-to-day -day basis. Hopefully the Black History Month will turn into a black history year that will go on every year. Uh, into the future, but at the moment now we can look back and, and, and see the impact that it has. And my name is Justine and I work at Show Racism The Red Card, which is an educational charity here in the UK, uh, and we're all about education. Uh, and what I mean by that is that the young people uh, and the adults that we work with, we like them to get to think critically about the information that they see uh, and hear and receive. And by doing that, it helps um, confound um, stereotypes, it helps combat bias, and therefore helps in our battle against racism and inequality across the board. We talk about education and we talk about show racism, the red card, uh, the, the charity, the football based charity that I've worked with for nearly 25 years now. And education, education is a fantastic thing. Now, this critical thinking relies on information, and in an ideal world, um, black history uh, would be integrated um, into the curriculum at schools. It would be uh, mentioned when people talk about um, history full stop, when we see things on television and radio, for instance. Black Britons have played an outsized role in the building and development of Britain and the United Kingdom as we know it today. As I mentioned, a lot of those roles 
have been have been sidelined in history um, have been ignored this is a moment just for all of us to sit up and take notice and to pay tribute this coming the year of 2020 and all that we've seen go on around social justice the black lives matter movement all that we've heard in terms of political rhetoric i think this year in particular we have to we have to pay special mention to all that have contributed to the roles that they continue to play and that black britons will play in building its future we are here to be heard we are here to be seen and our value has to be appreciated looking back to assess how you move forward with pride and, and dignity and it inspires so many young people knowing about their history which they haven't had they never had anybody who looks at them uh, on a regular basis to, to to learn about to find out about to to aspire to so it's, it's a wonderful month and a really uh, important month and We've worked together for many, many years now, and I know it's definitely one that show racism red cards appreciate. We appreciate the support that you've shown us throughout the years, uh, and also for your dedication for anti-racist and equality practice, uh, which is shown in the amount of training that you offer um, to your um, activists and to your uh, union members and involve us in. Um, this could be speaking at conferences as we have, but organized day-long conferences ourselves around the area of anti-racism. Um, we've spoken out different events we've run branch meetings and in the time that I've worked at show races in the red card probably one of the most fruitful and enjoyable experiences of my training uh, during there was the ambassadors course the unison ambassadors course which was a seven or eight week long course where we were able to unpack and explore uh, racism in a lot more detail and it was just um, a of course um, I love I, uh, I I love doing those and the support that show Race and red card have received from Unison over the years has been absolutely amazing. And we're having an impact when you look at what we're doing. You as a person, you can impact every day. Show Racism and the Red Card are having an impact in classrooms up and down the country in football clubs and football grounds and Unison in everyday life and on the work floor, on the, on the, in, in the, the working environment. And it's amazing that we've all got, got together and uh, to fight the, 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 um, the problem. And, and we know the problem is racism. And the best way to beat it is through education. Yeah, I'm really proud to be associated with Show Racing and the Red Card. As we're looking back on history, Show Racing and the Red Card are looking forward in terms of education and helping people to understand uh, what racism and is, is all about and how we can deal with it and make our, our society a better place. And I also want to thank UNICEF for everything they, they do, not only, only in helping uh, Show Racing and the Red Card, but also in terms of helping everybody and so many people in, in society. So um, yeah, we really appreciate the work that, that Unison do. So look, wish Black, Black History Month was a month, hope, wish it was seen this throughout the curriculum. One day, hopefully that'll be the case, but let's enjoy this month and uh, look forward to being you soon. In Unison, we have a very strong, active um, Black organised group. They meet regularly and they provide support to members in workplaces. And those workplaces are vast. We have members across a broad range of workplaces and it is those black activists who support those members, no more so than at a time of need like COVID has shown. Black members supporting black members in workplaces. I'm extremely proud of the work that we've done together with Show Races and the Red Card over the last four or five years in highlighting the inequalities in society and challenging racism. We've trained hundreds of our stewards across all workplaces to identify and challenge racism. We've managed to train uh, dozens of our members to become any racist ambassadors through the ambassador program. That's something that will be running again in the beginning of next year from January. We're also currently delivering some training uh, in terms of recognizing and challenging unconscious bias and through the language of equality and how to embed equality in the workplace. If you'd like to take part in those courses and further the work that both Unison members and Show Racism Red Card are doing in the Northern region, please visit our website at Unison Northern and register for the courses. You'll see all the other things that we do on there. 